the question, whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer, the slings and arrows of a righteous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing in them, to die, to sleep, no more, and by a sleep to say we end the heartache, and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation, devoutly to be wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep, Perchance to dream, I there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come, when we have shuffled off this mortal coil, must give us pause. There's the respect that makes company of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contemplate, the pangs of despised love, the law's delay the insolence of offense, and the spurns that patience marriage of the unworthy takes, when he himself might his quitus make with a bare potkin, who would Fairdale bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country, the whose board of no cavalry returns, puzzles that will and makes us rather bear those ills we have that then fly to others that we know no more. This concept doesn't even count the cause of all of us, and thus the name of human resolution is sickened over with the pale cast of thought. An enterprise of great pitch and moment, with his regard, the currents turn on me, and lose the name of action. Soft you know, the fair Ophelia.
Thy our sins be all my sins remembered.